But I wanted to start with what seems like the origins of your political journey. And that takes us back to 2008 in Afghanistan. Tell us what you were doing there and what happened there that so stuck with you and eventually propelled you into a career in politics. Sure. I I appreciate the question. I I remember that day like it was yesterday. Um, I was the head of the undercover operations at our station in Kabul, Afghanistan. And I, the, at 3 a.m. that morning, a bomb went off in front of our embassy, killed some of our local guards, took out a section of, of our protective you know, wall. And my unit was responsible for trying to figure out what happened. And we conducted a couple dozen operations in a very short period of time. That night, we had a Hipsy Codell, the House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence Congressional Delegation. These are the people that oversee our intelligence services. And our standard operating procedure was business casual. I'm in tactical gear. When I was overseas, I had a a long, bushy beard. It's funny, all, all my political team always ask me, do you have pictures from your time in the CIA? And I'm like, I don't think people want to see me looking like a Taliban, you know. Um, and I go into this briefing, and I overhear one of these members of Congress say, is the CIA going to cut this briefing short so we can get to the bazaar to buy rugs? I'm annoyed, but we get in the briefing, and the, the senior most people in this group, who had been on the House Permanent Select Committee for Intelligence for over six years, ask a question. Again, this is 2008. Why was Iran not supporting the Taliban in Afghanistan the way Iran was supporting other groups in Iraq? Now, for your sophisticated audience and listeners, you know they know that's a pretty crummy question, but this cat got all the, all the, the things right. So I decided I started explaining the Sunni-Shia divide. And he raises his hand and he says, Will, what's the difference between a Sunni and a Shia? And I'm thinking this guy's getting ready to make a really inappropriate joke. And who am I to deny him this opportunity? And I said, I don't know, Congressman, what's the difference? And I'm getting ready to go, but I'm bump bump. His face goes bright red. Didn't know that difference in Islam. And for me, it's okay for my big brother to not know that difference because he sells cable in in our hometown of San Antonio. But for an individual who is making decisions on sending our brothers and sisters and spouses to places like Iraq, Afghanistan, Syria, unacceptable. For someone who's making decisions on how to spend billions of our hard-earned taxpayer dollars, unacceptable. And I literally, at that moment, we're in a skiff, which is a secure environment, I push my chair back, I walk out of the skiff, and I call this dude who a year and a half earlier had put the idea in my head to run for Congress, and right then and there I decided to move back to my hometown to run for Congress. And so so that's how I got involved in politics. It started with me getting pissed off. 